How's it going, Shaq? Okay, tell me something. Your wife has a lot of plants, yes? Uh-huh. I would say uh, 200 or so. Okay. Um, what has that done for the ant situation in your apartment? Uh, ants, not so much. Uh, definitely a lot of insects in the area. Okay. Yeah. There's been a, a big influx of insects, but, uh, no ants. I gotta say I've been, I mm. was expecting that I get, a we get a lot of flies during, during a particular part of it. Okay. Of the pathway outside. We get more squirrels. Okay. They come, they, there's like certain like, uh, uh, plants that require a lot of like sand or dirt. I don't know what you put them in soil. <laughs> yes, sand yeah. or dirt or soil. Yes, the brown stuff. Uh huh. And like every now and then, like she'll like come in from the yard yelling, and she'll be like, "Damn squirrels!" Because they'll like undo the all the work. And it, yeah, and like they'll like scrummage for stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's what squirrels do. I mean, I hate them with or without plants. Boo Man. squirrels. Yeah, okay. and ladybugs, like stuff like we get like a lot of the weird ones that I wasn't expecting, like ladybugs. Mm-hmm. Um, every now and then they'll like come with one of the things that eats plants. I don't know what those are called. They're like they they, but every now and then there's like an insect that eats the leaves of the plant. Oh right, like a, sure. Like a slug or something, and like uh, they'll accidentally be like shipped when she orders like oh, a, sure. a weird plant, and they'll like uh-huh. send her a refund and like or they'll send her a new one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we got like a lot of insects in the area. Hmm. Well, my landlord um, decided to plant some things uh, in his front area, which is my front area, which is also like eye level for me through the windows <laughs> because I am in their garden apartment. Yeah. I don't think just because I'm in the garden apartment, there needs to be a garden. Fair. I don't, fair. I don't believe. Especially if I, it's not mine. I'm not planting shit. That's um, fair. He had done that before, um, whereas the kind of townhouse where, you know, the main house is upstairs and underneath there's a be- uh, uh, an apartment um, and there's like a plot of land, enough for a tree or maybe, you know, some shrubbery. Um if you wanted to plant a few things, you know, you could till that land if you want. But it is just a plot of dirt, kind of, in the middle of a lot of concrete right? with a drain underneath. Yes. So he had the larger plot of that, and he never, he didn't really do anything with it. For a long time, there was a rose butch in the middle, I think. That was probably okay. a legacy thing, and it would grow a couple of roses, but he, uh, no one ever cultivated it it just would bloom and then die and no big deal um and then a few years ago uh they got into a whole we have to live off of the land the situation which is perfectly fine if we weren't in bushwick brooklyn (laughs) do you understand the land here is covered with um used drug paraphernalia Mm-hmm. And bottles of piss, yeah, and dog shit. That's the land. <laughs> so I, you know, whatever. So they planted things. I don't know exactly what they had. Little signs at some point, but those signs blew away quickly. Um, I guess some of it were herbs because occasionally someone would come from from upstairs and pluck a few leaves off and then take it up. And I'm like, I mean, I hope that's what you think it is. You know what I mean? I hope <laughs> I don't smell anything fragrant at okay. all. Okay. Uh, like in a good way, like in a, Oh, that's a plant from the earth way. I smell stuff. Sure. <laughs> but not that. <laughs> also our next, the people next door in that townhouse, when they clean, they dump out their dirty water over their fence directly into my landlord's new garden yeah right so i'm like all of that is dirty dirty mop water <laughs> basil you know what i mean like what mm. <laughs> that's not macronutrients you know I, mean? <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> so um last year he tiled up the whole spot 
Okay. He tiled up the front, which is another option. Um, uh, they tiled up the front and they left a strip of green uh, towards the back of the okay. whole area of green, which I'm like, I'm guessing that's probably for drainage or just so it's not so, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I understand why you would do that. Um, and then they bought some pots and they planted a couple of things, what seemed to be tomatoes um, hmm. and then some other plants uh, and put the pots around my staircase. So they did that earlier this year, I think the potted plants and you know, tomatoes bloomed. I never saw any, uh, I never saw anyone come down here and get these tomatoes. Tomatoes also on a vine. So they vined up my security bars I never saw them come and get the tomatoes. I'm like, why would you plant the food if you're not going to come and get the food? <laughs> what? Decorative tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, what are we doing? So, And then, of course, we went through a heat wave, so I watched these tomatoes just wither Aww. on the vine. And I was just like, yo, you got to follow up. <laughs> like, you can't just, <laughs> it's not just the planting. You've got to also cultivate and, like, yeah. anyway. And then on the other side of my steps, there's some other plant, which I don't know what it is, but it attracted all the ants of different sizes, tiny little itty bitty ants Mm. or uh, normal size, what you think of for ants. Um, No fire ants, luckily. And none of those big body ants. You know what I mean? (laughs) You know, the big body, the ultra ultra black big body ants. None of those. (laughs) None of the big body Ben's ants. But... um, (laughs) But still, that's two to three different kinds of ants that I, I'm just like, huh, I've never seen those before. And now they're in my apartment. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not like they sprayed anything, you know, yeah, as, like barrier spray. stuff. So now they're kind of coming in and I can't catch a trail. This is not, look, this is not my first rodeo with ants. I grew up in Atlanta literally right. for fun. We would poke ant hills. I am fascinated by ant hills, all of that stuff. But um, I would not poke an ant hill now because that's not right to mess up their home. <laughs> and I'm in there. If I'm in their ant hill poking around, they have every right to sting the fuck out of me because I'm Real in their fun. home. Yeah. If they're in my home, I have every right to raid them fair, because they fair. are in my home. So, but I know, you know, they're leaving a trail and all this stuff and it's not good because I got cat food, which I don't leave out a lot of food all the time, but there's a chunk of the day that it's just the cat here and we, you know, got to leave her some food. Um, And so I've been kind of battling with the teeny tiny ants for a a while, like um, making sure I don't leave too much food so that she can eat it all so that they come by and they're like, eh, there's nothing here and kind of go away. Uh, they're showing up in my room where there is no food. Um, I asked my, uh, you know, just kind of like random ant here or there. And I'm like, Oh, are you the search ant? There's nothing here for you. And so, you know, (laughs) I'm spraying some sort of bug spray. That's supposed to be okay for pets. Like uh, naturally you don't want to wash your pet in it, but (laughs) you know, uh, and it's probably made out of like, I don't know, lemongrass or sassafras or some shit. And I don't know if it's killing anything or making everything just smell kind of citrusy. It's, I don't know if it's really working to my, I mean, I like poison, but, um, you know, my roommate eats in his room all the time. I'm like, you don't see any ants in there. And he's like, nope. And I'm like, okay, you just don't notice ants. That's what that is. (laughs) That's where the ants is coming from. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, he's moving out soon and I'm going to go in there and just, like uh, I'm going to see they have a whole condominium up where his desk used to be. But I, um, yeah. So I was, I had a sick cat this morning. Oh, um, no. so she, I mean, not like sick, sick. She just barfed in a few places, which happens sometimes. Okay. Um, and so I like to try and track down how that happened. Right. Yeah. Um, it didn't present itself until after I had woken up early to clean, uh, the living room, floor so i cleaned the floor you know mopped it the whole thing and then she went oh by the way and i went cool (laughs) you got your day started you ready okay okay great 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 i i wish you had done that 45 minutes earlier when i set the timer but now it's just as good as time as any um and then while cleaning all of that up i noticed ants that were not by the in the food when i started cleaning so, Whoa. so I'm like, oh, well, shit, y'all just got here too, huh? So now I'm Whoa. cleaning all of this 
pizza. So anyway, uh, that is to say that's how my morning's going. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I feel for you. Yeah. You know, I mean, ants, I, it bugs me, no pun intended, but it doesn't bug me because they're not like cockroaches. Yeah. You know I, I what I mean? I was just talking about that with Gabby. Like, um, I, I, I could live anywhere with almost any insect but roaches. Mm. Like, if you told me that, like, yo, like, we got a beautiful home, but there's a lot of ants, I'm all right with that. Ants don't really bug me besides the red ones. I find them kind of cool. They kind of mind their business. They food nah, is where they at. The fire ants, no, they bite. The big body ones bite too. There are some ants that bite. Yeah. And that know how to swim. So even when you try to drown them, they're just like, I'm just going to get in the tub while you're taking a bath and bite you. So, Yo, yeah. that's wild work. They in the water? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to be careful with the ants because some of them are real mean. Yo. <laughs> so and they seem harmless, but some of them will attack you. Um, oh yeah. my goodness. You know, uh, yeah, but most yeah. of the ants I've seen, they like, yo, what's good, homie? Nah, man. Just, right. I, yes. I just popping in real quick. That's ultimately what I am seeing here. So I'm just like, Hey, look, I'm just trying to put up this herbal shit so that, you know, please stay out. So, yeah, yeah. but oh. I, I guess I'm going to have to get something to just kind of maybe spray around my front door. Although I don't know exactly how they're getting in, you know, cracks and stuff. I'll have to spray some stuff in cracks and, you know, just usual pest control stuff, which is, uh, you know, annoying, but I'll do it because I'm really not trying to live with pests. Nah, I hear you. Yeah. I, and, the, and the thing is, like, pest control don't even take that call serious. Are you caught on? No. Are you caught on by ants? They built the house you in. Like, what are we complaining about here? Baby? Right. They exactly. They longer than you, you know? Leave them alone. Yes, which I, yeah. I respect, but also go away. <laughs> and also I've been in this apartment for so long, like a decade. I've been in this apartment for a decade. Um no no ant issue like this. Never an ant issue like this. A couple of ants coming from somewhere, maybe, but they dissipate after a while. No ant issue like this. And it all started when they planted these goddamn tomatoes that they never checked on. <laughs> and whatever this fucking plant is over on the other side. Yo, I mean, I, I, they getting vitamin C now. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're they stronger, you know? Yeah, they are getting stronger for sure. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I, I got to say, like, I feel for you, but uh, I'm on the ant side on this one. I think they're what? allowed. ant yeah. side? The, <laughs> the, the ants were here before the people. They're allowed to roam. Um, I, I don't even think they're the tomatoes fault. I think your roommate started packing. No, he they, hasn't. They've been there the whole <laughs> the man time. man eats in his room and doesn't notice ants. Please believe he has not started packing. Um, <laughs> I think he, they've been in his room for 10 years <laughs> and he started moving some stuff and they're like, oh, we got to find another place. He hasn't even he... been in that room for 10 years. You know, <laughs> it could also be the weather. Mm, yeah, it's, it's been different. Yeah, so uh, it, it could they could be coming in here looking for something because that's usually when ants appear. I feel like like back in 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 the day, I feel like I didn't start seeing ant hills until like end of summer, beginning of autumn. Yeah, when they were look, they all popped up looking for something. Yeah. Uh, so this is I don't know if it's like it's too hot for them and they're looking for water, but it just rained a lot. Or if they feel like they're flooded. I can't tell if they are dehydrated or if they are too wet. You know what I mean? Like, what the <laughs> issue is. Yo, what if your house is, like, the new spot? Oh, you know well, what I mean? that's what I mean. That's why I need to let them know this is not your spot. Nah, that shit's no. popping. Like, you in, like, the ant newsletter? Like, nah. yo, you heard the chalet was? Yo, that shit is mm-hmm. popping, yo. It's lit over there. I got you a got, cat. You got to be cool with the cat bouncer. But after that, it's chill, man. This, no, uh, the cat is supposed to take care of. I mean, since the cat got here, I haven't seen a mouse in here, which is great. That was number one list. That was the number one thing on her contract. I was gonna say, <laughs> what more you put on this lady's job list, yo? Like, no, no, no. Like, that's this is unfair. You expected her to, ha- to to handle ants? Nah, I don't know. She doesn't seem to bother him. She doesn't mess with spiders, which is good. But okay. I, I could use more spiders. I'm not seeing the spiders like I. Spiders would help me with this. Bring in some spiders. Where am I getting spiders from? You got to proactively recruit them. Like, go, you know what I mean? Go get some, hire some. You know what I mean? Never you, you had got, to you hire got a cat. Sp- 
I've never had to hire spiders before. I don't know even know where to. I I mean, I know there are spiders in this city, but I just feel like I don't see them like I. You know what? It's honestly because there aren't enough trees. I'll be yeah. honest with you. I, I think living in a city where there were a lot of greenery and a lot of trees, even in the like concentrated city areas. Yeah. Means that you're living in a lot of buildings with a lot of big ass spiders that take <laughs> care of bugs. Road salt. Because I haven't, I haven't seen, I see like, you know, like daddy long legs or something like that. Yeah. Not even like hardcore ones, just like little petite mini long legs, I guess is what you call them. <laughs> Uh, uh, listeners, if any of you uh, are good spiders or know any spiders, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, let them know. We got some work for you. Uh, come through the Bushwick. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> no brown recluses. I'm sorry. I know this sounds very, you know, <laughs> no Irish, no blacks. But I mean, no, <laughs> no brown recluses, please. They bite people. And I've already been bitten by them. And I've been I'm scarred permanently because of it, like literally and figuratively. <laughs> Scarred. Um, Bro, so if I if we weren't told about spiders, I thought you would have been told about like black coders. Like what? <laughs> <No, I'm not laughs> <close>. What you? <laughs> you got against black black people in C plus plus? All right, let them work, shot. Yeah, no, 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 no. They're fine. The spiders, however, ugh. you know, oh, nothing man. too fuzzy. No, no spiders too big and fuzzy. But you know, shape ups only. Okay. Yes, yes. If you could get me a, a nice lined up spider <laughs> <laughs> with a skin fade, that would Real be great. Tall. Skin fade two <laughs> max, okay? Yes. Two and a half, maybe, okay? Maybe. You got, your if resume it... got to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. Let's get into the news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> news. Uh, kicking us off. Uh, Kamala Harris. Taps Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as, as the Democratic running mate. Uh, that's right, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. Is, uh, I, I, I've heard, uh, is it Kamala? Uh, it's, what, the... Think of comma la, like comma. the like a comma. Kamala. Kamala. Kamala Harris. And and that I... and really, I think it's supposed to be only two syllables, so like Kamala. Oh. But. Kamala will work because there is an MA in there and we are stupid Americans. So, you know. Okay. But that's, Kamala. yeah, think of, think of the punctuation comma and then la. Kamala. Yeah. I rock with that. Okay. Kamala. Yes, what a, a relief. Yeah. Real talk. I like it. Hell yeah. That just sold me. Oh, real well, talk. that's great. That's great. I'm, it's so simple. That's how she just got my vote right now because of wow. that. Like, okay. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of fine. She got like the, Little like uh like a hip hop name. That's dope. All right. <laughs> like a hip hop name. Yeah. Tom it, Harris. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, <laughs> did you do any I was on I was gonna say I was on Twitter when it was announced, but when am I not on Twitter? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. I've fallen asleep with my phone on my face so many times. Tell me when I'm not on Twitter. When I'm on IG? <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm on Twitter, and I'm trying cookies for IG. That's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So, you That's know. That's why this ant is thing is such a problem. It's taking me away from my <laughs> I priority. I know. I can't sleep. Um, <laughs> all of us, ants over my shoulder, we're all reading Twitter together. <laughs> but uh, when the announcement was made, or um, artfully leaked, I guess, mm-hmm. um, I was very relieved. Had you been paying attention to the people in the running? Uh, not much, no. I was just kind of waiting for the final. Yeah. I um, I also was just like, I mean, I guess we'll see what we see. But, you know, some people were talking about, oh, there might be this guy for this or, you know, maybe Pete Buttigieg, which I think I, I've been kind of watching him making the rounds to help out the whole thing. And uh, he's good. He's very good. But okay. I don't think he's vice president good yet. He he we need to, you know, put him back in the oven. Cause I mean, like, wow. he literally was the mayor of a small town and then ran for president, which is like the hubris. And then <laughs> <laughs> and then got to be secretary of uh what, tra- transportation. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, buddy, I, I there are some big steps that you leapt over, and I would like you to kind of go back and read those chapters. Um, <laughs> but you know, he seems all right. Okay. He seems he seems uh, like a kind of politician where I'm like, 
I mean, I know you're a politician, but I'm, I'm all right with it. And that's ultimately what I'm looking for in a politician. I know you got to do some slimy politician shit, but uh, I like how you're presenting it to me. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so the Walls guy, Tim Walls, um, right. kind of showed up also uh, at, at like various people once once everything kind of started to shift to uh, uh, Harris. He kind of popped up with other people to like, right. you know, kind of help uh, promote and and whatnot. And I guess he, I wouldn't say folksy, but a kind of folksy. He was just, he was the one that, he was like the first one to say, yeah, those dudes are weird. Like JD Vance is weird, right? <laughs> you see that? What a weird thing to say. And that the Democrats have kind of like attached themselves to, Let's to go. like that whole thing. And I mean, uh, the other person was, what was his name? Josh Shapiro. Okay. Who I think was the is the governor of Pennsylvania, maybe something like that. And he um, was he the one that sounded just like Obama? There's another guy, uh, Bashir. So there were a few dudes. One guy sounded just like Barack Obama when he spoke. <laughs> so like, but he, you know, like great. So we have a fully white version of. Oh, Barack Obama, no thanks. Um, the Shapiro guy, he... Uh, he was the had, religious dude, I think. Well, he was Jewish, and he had uh, some views on what's going on in Gaza in the West Strip that were, like, pro-Palestine, pro-Palestine folks were just like, no, please not him. Please not him. Mm. Like that's not what like based on what you've already said, no matter how safe it's been VP Harris, not this guy. Um, and then, uh, so I think it was down to him and what, and walls and walls ultimately was chosen. Um, I read a little bit about that and heard that Shapiro kind of the concern with him and a couple of other people was that, that they would, that it would end up being all about them. Okay. And they are vice president. So they're running alongside. They're not president. Right. You know what I mean? So, but their mm. ego is such that perhaps they would make it more about them than about Kamala Harris. Um, okay. Whereas uh, Tim Walls seemed uh, more supportive and also more progressive than you'd think for someone who's, you know, from. Uh, the Midwest Minnesota, or the Heartland right, yeah. or wherever, uh, um, uh, but he uh, more supportive and, and understood understood what the role was. Right, right. You know, and okay. instead of looking at oh, VP is just a step to P, uh, he was just like, all right, VP. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yo, I like that. Like, That's okay. So that check, um, that check clearing, yo. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I saw someone. Ask on Twitter, can you explain this to me in Beyonce terms? Or in, and the one a person, many people responded in Beyonce terms, but a few people said, this is like Beyonce picking Michelle in Destiny's Child, picking Michelle to drink, to sing the bridges on all the songs. It's a power okay. move. Or Michelle just being picked. Like, I'm here. I understand what the job is. I'm going to, I'm going to do the job. I'm going to stay out of the way. I'm going to support you. I'm gonna, and I was like, yeah, great. That's great. Absolutely. I Yo, always like that's kind of fire. Yeah. yeah. You know, she, she ain't rocking no boats. She ain't saying enough. She ain't messing up the check, but she's there to support you. She's Real not going to stand for any bullshit, but she's there to support who she's supporting. Oh yeah. I'm so with it. that's love. I like it. I like yeah. it. By, by the way, uh, title to a random New York post article. Uh, potential Harris VP pick, Josh Shapiro raising eyebrows for shockingly similar cadence to Obama. Oh, it was Shapiro who sounded like yeah. Obama. Okay. It's creepy. Was yeah. The- <laughs> I mean, like, he really was just like, uh, uh and I'm like, no. <laughs> Stop it. Me? Yeah, you can't. You know, look, as we all know, the first couple of years, you, you, you're doing a version of your favorite comic me. <laughs> so so if you want to come out and you want to do your best 
Paul F. Tompkins until you find your own voice. <laughs> and so be it. But I don't I don't know if we need that right now. Hey, you know, I like Action Bronson, but we got Ghostface. You know? <laughs> right. It's cool. Right. It's cool. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I, I yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm happy it's solidified now. So like, you know, uh the full focus could be on getting her elected. Uh, mm-hmm. I admittedly didn't know much about the candidates because I figured uh, the priority should be her and it would be someone from uh, either a state that is always like a swing state or mm-hmm. someone that would help like shore up a hole in what they felt was her game. And right. I would get to know them there. Right. Um, what I, the one thing that I heard that actually I liked was uh, I heard he, had, he got into like, he had like a DUI <laughs> a long time ago. And, like, that sounded crazy, but, like, he stopped drinking. Right. You know, and I thought that was kind of dope. Like, yo, this is an adult man who, like, had a flaw. Mm-hmm. It was a low light, and he changed his life. You know what I mean? And, and like, the way he fixed it, it, it sounded like like the way a normal person fixed Like, it didn't sound like a Hollywood story. He's like, yeah. He's like, now nah, I just, like, drink too much Mountain Dew. That's real. You replace the vice with another vice. Right. And it's sure. just a lesser evil. You know, but like that's a man that like for real dealt with something. You know what I mean? And yeah, uh, and is able to make change. I trust that. I don't know why. I just did. I was like, yeah. Well, that's cool. I mean, they they found his mugshot from back then, and I don't know. No one gave me like the years. Maybe I should try and read on the mugshot how long ago it was or when it happened. Yeah, it was definitely like a long time ago. Yeah. So my man is sixty. They're both sixty. Yeah. Or will be sixty this year. Um. So already I'm like, all right, well, like, I could have dated you. Well, I looked at when <laughs> I looked at the mugshot, I was like, oh, I know you. I could have, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've known you. I was like, that's long enough ago that I'm like, yeah, you're from a tiny town. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, you have to drive home from the bar. How else are you gonna do it? Real talk, was it Uber back then? Yeah, so like. Yeah, and then you're just like, well, I'm not doing that again. That was stupid. Yeah, especially lesson if you're, learned. Yeah, lesson learned. I'm like, that's not even. We have someone running for president who is waiting <laughs> on fucking <laughs> got charges out the wazoo from now. For now, from, from right now, right now. They're not Open thirty cases. years back. Yeah, right now. <laughs> what do I care about a DUI? Real from talk. the late 80s. I don't yeah. give a fuck about a DUI in the late 80s. <laughs> Shit. Real talk. That's how cred should work. You you move past it. Y'all giving right. Donald Trump street cred for shit he's doing now. No, I don't want that guy as president. No. I want you to have overcome that. Yeah, I want you, you to have overcome I mean? it and learned lessons. Yeah. Y'all are giving him cred. He ain't learned no lesson. He ain't learned nothing. Yeah, he's still doing <laughs> he's it. He's still doing this. He's the still being shit. actively stupid right now. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, I believe that like you should be like continuously evolving and growing as a person. Right. That's I'm not that ends at 78. At 78, <laughs> you should be grown already. Evolved. <laughs> like, <laughs> you shouldn't be. <laughs> this, if, there, if you're growing, it should be minimal. Right. Like, yeah, like I started drinking almond milk now. Like little shit. But yes. not, you shouldn't be committing crimes <laughs> at 78 and you're like, oh, I learned that lesson. Yeah. yeah like, it's that's too why late. I work. Yeah, it's too yeah. late. You a shitty person at 78 and you, yes. that's who you are. Yes. You ain't going to pivot now. No, there's nah, no pivot. Uh uh-uh. uh. So, yeah, I'm happy about uh, this. I found it silly that people pointed it out because all I saw was good in that. Right. Uh, being real. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I was trying to find something, but, you know, it, it's ridiculous. I'm like, that's not. That big deal. Yeah, like real talk. I I thought that was if that shows how like clean he is. Like that that's how far back and that's all y'all can find. Yeah. And all, all, honestly, that's a that's a good amount of dirt. Yeah. You know what I mean? It shows for, me you real. For a person, person, that's a good amount of dirt. We I feel like everyone has certainly known someone who is driven drunk, whether they mm-hmm. got caught or anything like that. That is I think a a good a good amount if you can ask for a good amount of dirt because I don't trust anybody who's completely clean. Real talk, you got to sprinkle some. Yeah, something must be wrong, and I yeah. say that as someone who barely drinks and doesn't do drugs, <laughs> something is wrong. Real talk, <laughs> amen. I've never driven drunk. Uh, I've sat in the car seat and took a long ass nap. Okay, 
the world talk. That's as close as I got. It was uh, one of Gabby's birthdays, and Gabby don't drive, and we got turned up, and we got, mm-hmm. and she was like, "You good to drive?" I was like, "Hell yeah, I'm good to drive." And like we walking towards the car, and I'm like, "Yo, sure, I ain't good to drive." <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, we, and she was like, "So what are we gonna do?" I was like, "Yo, we gonna sit." And I'm like, "I was like, can you drive? No, you cannot. You got no license. I'm drunk." <laughs> we getting it and, and we sitting down. So uh, I straight up, we, we got in the seat and for uh, the last like two and a half hours of her birthday was me sleeping in the car uh, near Times Square. Near Times yeah, Square. Straight That's up. amazing. Real talk. We went to one of those like uh, fancy bowling places. Okay. Yeah. So like we did like a party there and it was in like in the middle of the city. Right. And I was like, yo, like I'm, I'm turned up. Like I cannot drive right now and I'm mm-hmm. the only one with a license. Right. Real talk. So I was like, yeah, like we'll get home, but not now. Like, not now. <laughs> I'm sleeping this off. <laughs> I That's love the it. clothes I got. I was like, yeah, I'm, I felt hyper confident while paying the bill. Mm-hmm. And then like the two and a half block walk, I was like, yo, I'm 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 stumbling a lot. Yeah, yeah. And Once you're not on. bowling anymore, you're like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> that That's was funny. Bowling, bowling is is really just falling. Yeah. Yeah. Real you're talk. just throwing a thing and then like, oh, but Real now. Talk. You're now going, I got oh, oh, and there isn't yeah. a ball in your hand. That's yeah, the issue. ball was like the counterbalance yes. to the alcohol. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it kept me in check. I if I if I could have drove while holding the ball, I'd have been fine. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just holding a ball out, a bowling ball out a window. Real talk, I'd stay. have been straight. <laughs> oh my god! Someone tell us if that if the science on that is correct, please. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> other news. Uh, John Voight's message against Kamala Harris takes off online. Uh, that's right. Actor John Voight has criticized Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris, pardon me, learning, uh, mm-hmm. in a video posted online and used the opportunity to once again throw his support behind Donald Trump, saying the current election cycle is the war of our lifetime. Voight, the father of Angelina Jolie, has been a vocal supporter of Trump over the past several years, including during the former president's run up to the 2024 race. Uh, Harris became a late entrant for uh, President Joe Biden, un- announced in July. Uh, in the video, posted to X, formerly Twitter, never formerly Twitter, by the way. Always X. That's the only dead name I use. <laughs> the That he uh, captioned Civil War, Voight expresses disapproval of Harris, saying, we the people are in trouble if she wins the election. He encouraged uh, those watching his video to, quote unquote, stop this crime that is happening. Um, yeah, I don't know if you had a chance to see the video. It's a it's a war crime that Obama is directing, and Kamala Kamala Harris will be the cackling hyena Ooh. that just listens and repeats. Mm. If we don't stop this horror, you, my friends, will have the biggest horror that you will not now uh, know how to end. That's what he said in the video that's posted on Twitter right now. Buddy, what are you talking about? Real talk, John Voight, stop it. Just hush, hush. Real talk, you're, man. you're done. You're done. I think I think your boy's done. Like Donald Trump seems shook, which I feel like we should talk about in a second. The shookness yeah. of Donald Trump. But um <laughs> word up. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'm so I'm sorry. It oh I'm sorry, old man. Like, stop it. it up, you're, man? you're done. Oh, you know, like, buddy, you were a good actor. Yeah. <laughs> Act like you got some sense. Yo, and just stay in that role. Just hush. Now he's been where he's been banging this drum for a long time. There's a reason Angelina Jolie don't talk to him. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, he's been terrible for a while. Um, in a way that we can see. Yeah. At least. But um, yeah, so what? It's just you and your other old friends sitting around. Going, do you know what they're going to do? Nothing. No one's <laughs> trying to hurt. No one's going to do anything to you. Y'all are not getting round up and put in camps. Old white men with money? Let me tell you something. I think y'all will be fine. I yeah, right. think you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, based on what history has shown us. Yes. You know what I mean? You're going to make it. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think you'll be okay. Real talk. So, like, what... Also, I mean, I guess that's viral. A hundred and however, oh, one hundred fifty-seven thousand views 
Yeah. I mean, I guess that's good, but you know, there are people out here doing stupid dances and getting more views than that. That's all I gotta say. Step your game up. Listen, real talk, John. The only thing you gotta fear is your health. Okay, you're 85 years old. My oh, he's 85. Yeah, 85, buddy, sit down. Man. Why are you getting your blood pressure up? Real talk, B. You should be concerned about your doctor's visits. All of your visits. Real talk. Take all your medicine. We all, like just you should be resting, or you should be working your hips. You that's know, it. a lot of yoga. Oh, yeah, you just I mean? like the doing... seat yoga, the seating yoga, the one where like you don't got to move that much. Right? Yeah, but definitely, you know, try to stay limber, That's I it, guess, you know so I mean? you can run when we chase you with torches. <laughs> just keep praying for like uh, Ray Donovan return. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. That's all you should be doing, my G. A little I know. Theory. Yeah, you've been acting up since Burn Notice been off Real the air, talk. but <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> That's it, Obi. That's all you should be doing every day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in uh, far more serious news that's Uh-oh. near and dear to me. Boar's Head. To Ooh. Recall. Yeah. Okay. An additional 7 million pounds of deli meat after the deadly Listeria outbreak. That's right. Boar's Head expanded its recall of deli meats to include 7 million additional pounds of ready-to-eat products as the feds continue to investigate a deadly Listeria outbreak. A recall of 100 tons of boar's head product was issued last week by the agency's Food and Safety Inspection Service after at least two people died and 34 others were hospitalized in 13 states from potentially tainted meat. Uh, the latest uh, uh, action covers 71 products made between May 10th and July 29th under the boar's head and old country brand names, including Virginia ham, beef salami, and bologna. Uh, made at the firm's plant in Jarrett, Virginia. The problem was discovered when a uh, liver rust sample uh, collected by health officials in Maryland tested positive for listeria. Further testing showed that the type of bacteria was the same strain causing the illness in people, which were reported between late May and July. Oh, man. How you doing? I uh, I stand with Boar's Head. I've still been eating it. Um, uh, this is not slow. What do you down. mean you stand with Boar's Head? Boar's Head is not pro Listeria. Whatever they need me to be, okay. I'm gonna keep buying. I'm gonna keep shopping. I've been eating. I bought. I bought some today. I had a whole Sausalito sandwich. <laughs> um, I read every article. No one's mentioned Sausalito. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. I was actually impressed because while reading the article, I found out Boar's Head in the Cayman Islands, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Panama, they blowing up. They taking over the game. OK, this Listeria thing is just something trying to hold you down, slow them down. Mm-hmm. They're they going to keep conquering. OK, keep expanding, keep doing a thing. OK, keep eating. OK, it's great food. OK, a little Listeria never killed nobody. Well, two people. <laughs> besides <laughs> those two people. OK, okay? stop. <laughs> stop talking. First of all. The way that you support the man is terrifying. <laughs> that you immediately were like, I stand with Boar's Head. Fuck stand a Boar's boy. Head. Boar's Head. Fuck true. Boar's Head. Just because you like their meat? Boar's buddy, head. they got to take care. How are they, how are they with their employees? Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty good from what I understand. They sell routes. Boar's Head route is a great way to be a millionaire. Real what talk. do you mean? Like the routes, the trucks, the, the, uh-huh. they sell them and like get like a brolic percentage but delivering the boar's head to that area. Okay, um, what about the processing? That I don't know. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe they are good to their people. I just think everyone, please be careful out there. Don't don't buy any boar's head. No, maybe no uh, processed meat for a while. Nah. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we just got to, I don't know, eat vegetables or some shit. <laughs> I mean, there's like there's you can like have some peppers soup. and like the the spicy cheeses. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's not where the listeria is. Okay, are, so are those the, is that is it only in the meat products or? That's my understanding. It's only in the meat. You know what I mean? So you get uh-huh. like get like pepper jack cheese. You getting some vegetables in the pepper? Okay, great. Stay you away from I mean? the lunch meat though. I don't want to. No, you it's have to. I know. Look, I know that you are literally. Two heroes in a trench coat. Oh, I know, yeah. I day. know that you are with a Yankees cap on. Gang, gang. <laughs> two, the three Subway sandwiches in a pair of Dickies yeah. <laughs> with some dunks brand, on. Baby. But you gotta, uh, yeah, you may 
just need to be extra careful. Because have you ever had any tainted meat? No. I mean, if I had, I don't, I don't, it never tainted meat. Like, I, I just, I powered through it. You know what I mean? No, no. That's what your stomach is supposed to do. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> your stomach is not just supposed to power through. I okay. have had, I had ground turkey that it turns out there was a recall for it. Okay. Um, it ain't fun. And it was, uh, and my mother also at the same time, they had ground turkey that was part of the recall that we, we bought before it was recalled. Yeah. Um, in two different grocery stores in Atlanta, but in two different grocery stores. Oh, because we lived on opposite sides of the city. Right. They were in North, they were in Northeast and I was Southwest when we bought this ground turkey. And I remember talking to my mother and her talking about how she wasn't feeling well. She, her stomach was bothering her. And then like the next day mine was, and it was bad. And then we saw the recall and I called her and I was like, Hey, you think we got bad meat? (laughs) And she was like, I don't know. Did you get such and such ground turkey? And I was like, I did. So I don't eat ground turkey or ground chicken like stuff. See, that's wild. It just took you out the game. No, but all it didn't, it's doing, it's it doing didn't its take, job. What do you mean it took me out of what game? You, food not is eating, not a game, buddy. What are you talking about? You're not eating ground turkey no more over. Yeah, a because from what people normally make with ground turkey are like turkey burgers, right? Yeah. And then the way that they cook turkey burgers, they kind of cook normal. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure everyone's cooking it all the way through. But you cooking it. I'm not cooking it. <laughs> you bought the turkey <laughs> meat. Why, no. why would... Like, yeah, but that? I mean, like, that meat can also go to restaurants. Okay. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking with it anymore. So what do you eat when you're at a restaurant? What? I just don't... Usually, ground turkey is, like... Or ground chicken is, like, you know, if you don't want ground beef. Yeah. You can have... I'll just get ground beef. Okay. But then what if the ground beef gets contaminated? You're not going to eat that either? Probably not for a while. But then you, you're not eating meats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, that's, yeah. I'm just, I guess I'm just not eating meats. That's crazy. I can't get, I can't get there. Uh, whenever, like. <laughs> yo, Look, I apologies can't. to all of our vegan and, and uh, vegetarian uh, troops and correspondents. We'll that Gastor cannot make the leap of like so you're just not eating meat as well I'm so sorry we do su- we do support you I, I i'm like and like I, I i care about you like i think about y'all and how you're surviving that's how i support you like i i'm like so concerned you know uh that you're not eating this amazing food you know uh fruits vegetables they're cool you know what i mean i'm not knocking them okay but like, you don't go, even like fruits they go around the meat. Yeah, you know see, I mean? this they is another one of your. Meat. There, there are different ways of of doing uh, vegetables where it, it'll be fine. Like it's you can not- hang, you can hang lights up in your house, but like it ain't a tree unless it's around a Christmas tree. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, like, but what if you don't want a Christmas tree? You just want lights up or hanging in your house. And you got decorations, but you don't got a Christmas tree. What That's if you don't? Thing. You're if not you, putting you, it up for Christmas. But what if you're just putting lights up? All the time because you like the lights and how they then, look. Then just like vegetarians, the neighbors should talk about you. Okay. okay? You, Every time you know. they walk by your house, they're like, yeah, that's the, the vegan. He lives okay. there with All the right. weird lights. Okay. You know what I mean? He's going to live to be 95, admittedly. Props. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone talks about them. Okay. okay? When mm-hmm. meat is recalled... All I hear is meat doing what meat is supposed to do. And what okay? is meat supposed to do? It's supposed to go through your system, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Fill you up and then get pooped out. When meat okay. is recalled, it just does that faster. Okay. Okay? That's yeah. all it's doing. It's doing the meat thing. You know what I mean? Y'all complaining because it over meat. But it still <laughs> was just doing the meat. What about that's what protein? It does. That, that's part of it. That's uh-huh. what's cleaning it up. It's okay. doing all of that. It's like in there, it's moving. You know what I mean? So and then y'all got mad. To say, oh, this, this all of the extra. troops and correspondents, especially the correspondents who sent us links to this story, because I know you didn't only get one <laughs> link to this story, because I talk. didn't. 
I had many people like, hey, make sure Gastor knows Real about so, this. Real talk. That's so, all the time I got this. It was like, yo, you all right? Yeah. So <laughs> I want you to listen to what he just said and see how he's throwing your concern in his face because he thinks this is just meat being meat. Meat is being meat, baby. Is being so, ex- the meat, it, y'all are mad because the meat is overachieving. That's what the meat is doing. This okay. meat is too powerful. Okay. You know, it was out here like being extra meat. You know I'm glad I mean? we record these because I'm going to play this. <laughs> when you in the hospital, I'm just going to play this. Like 40 years, baby. Ain't happened yet. Okay. You don't even know. I, I, right. I, that's what I'm saying. If I ever had it, I didn't feel it. It ain't happened. No, there's you know no I mean? way that you. <laughs> the amount oh of cold God. cuts I've had in my life, I should have had it by now. Whatever I, I, and I, I bet you have. And I was, I powered through. I made it. I'm here. Other side, baby. I would like to hear from the people who were around you. <laughs> you think you made I it had. through to the other side. There are people who are like, I will never be around Gastor again when he's sick. He is the <laughs> biggest baby. All of you dudes <laughs> who are out here like, I just powered through. I'm a tough I dude. It. I can handle illness. I swear to God, y'all stub a toe. And now I got to crack everything open for you because, oh, everything hurts. You're oh, all yeah. the worst. You're all the worst people. Oh, Power yeah. through. I'm going to strap one of those uh, menstrual cramp <laughs> simulators on you, and we're going to crank that up slowly and see how well you do. That's different, okay? No, that's it not, ain't different. That's, that's not caused by protein. through, my man. But that's not that's... caused by too much protein, okay? <laughs> that's nature. I dare say. Real talk. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not made for that. You know what, what do you mean? mean you're not made for that? I can't with you. But I'm made to process. You're not made for. Head. You're not made to deal with meat like okay. that. You're not made. You're made to deal with illness. You're made to deal with listeria. You're made to deal with E. coli. That that's just seasoning, okay? Like even the pictures they got of the of the like listeria, it just looked decorative. It looked like some you like sprinkle on top. Okay. Now I mean, all Race right. It. Put some listeria on my joint. I promise okay. you, it's gonna mm-hmm. taste dope. Yep. Okay. All right. That's gonna be the new the new chicken right there, yo. Whatever. You, no chicken already has is it's salmonella, which is Look what that. the ground beef show. You know, I ain't trying to catch no salmonella. I will be at a restaurant if I'm at a restaurant and I get chicken, and I yeah. look at it, cut it, and I'm like, that's not done. I won't eat it. Okay, I'm with that. Mm-hmm. But like that's just because it don't taste good. Not no, it's not because it don't taste good. It's because it's not cooked through. But you you don't eat like red meat. Like you don't like meat doesn't meat doesn't doesn't do the same as chicken with what salmonella. Is, what is you steak always do? have to cook chicken all the way through? Yeah, I'm with you on that. Right. But that's because that's it. T- that's how it tastes good. <laughs> like no, if you told me all, pink you, meat tastes better, you don't better eat raw chicken because it don't taste good. Not no, because, no, 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 because it's not good for you. It The salmonella can kill. But like raw steak, I don't think it's a different, good it's, That's a you. different just, meat. That's a it different. It tastes good. That's a different animal. I feel like we're saying the same thing. No, we're not. There are two <laughs> different animals. We're talking oh, about a right. bird and then we're talking about a landlocked one. <laughs> <laughs> but like. Ow. The, your stomach don't know that one was in the air and one was on the ground. No, it but it does, know, it does know when this is salmonella and I'm going to act up. And when this is okay, this is not, this is fine. Or this is listeria. You see so what I mean? Like, why does cows salmonella- have their own, birds don't get mad cow disease. Right, because they, they're in the air. <laughs> they're not flying above the mad cow disease. I thought that's how it works. They like, just I don't get cow- it. Okay. Now, a I think though that if you were to feed a tainted bird to a cow, a cow could get bird flu. Or if you ground up a cow, maybe you can I don't I forget. But if you it's the illnesses are specific to the animals. So what illness can I get from a steak? Well, if it's not good, um I think whatever Whatever mad cow disease is, whatever the technical term for it yeah. is, you can get that. And now, if I got a cow, if then they they make it into steak, uh-huh. and they tell me up front, "Yo, this got the mad cow." Oh, they shouldn't make it in the steak. It. All right, I, I, I give you that. I'm just saying. Let's say 
they did this. They're like, yo, I got the mad cow. And that and that one, I'm like, oh word, I should I shouldn't eat that rare. And like I extra You I, shouldn't I get that eat well done. it. You shouldn't eat it. But I'm saying if you eat it well done, do you I don't the think heat you eat the ate, mad cow. It's not the it doesn't dissipate with heat. I think it does. Sir. I don't think it does. It does not dissipate with heat. Uh, I think that's why I like Sausalito doesn't have like it doesn't hurt my stomach because it got isn't Sausalito it, turkey? Yeah, but like I'm saying, like okay, because it, the turkey the that the one though, well if it's seasoned. not cooked all the way through, could have salmonella. Right. So they cook it well, then they extra spice it, and that like kills all the oh salmonella. My God. The steak, the same thing. Open the schools. It. Open the schools. <laughs> you have two idiots over here arguing. Open the schools. <laughs> oh, man. I stand by all these statements. Yeah, well, That's good, because they're going to stand by you when we lower you into the ground with your dumb ass. <laughs> we're going to take your strong. body. We're literally going to wrap it up in deli paper, and then we're going to oh, slice oh. it in half, and then we're going to lower it into the ground. Yo. <laughs> if you would like... <laughs> To see Gaston's funeral dreams come true. <laughs> All you got to do is like, subscribe to the show, baby. If you were uh, Apple or Spotify listener, we appreciate your ratings. Four stars. I ain't even going to talk to y'all today. Five stars. <laughs> Everybody got to get behind this vision, okay? I'm going to write I down am. my will. That's how um, I want to die. If you hear about anything happening different when I die, talk to Gabby. Reach out to her, Okay. <laughs> Stella, no, I know you love him. I know you want the best for him. You want to do something nice. But I promise you, this is what he would have wanted. <laughs> Say it in force. DM her. I know her account is private, but if enough of you get to her, she'll see it. And mine, she'll inherit the password from Facebook, Instagram, Meta. And then she'll get all the flooded messages. Wrap up Gaston like a hoagie. Wrap up Gaston like a sandwich. Bury him like that slow. Put the... Boys head stick on the white wrapping paper. I'm literally going to message her today and say, I am so sorry Amen. that I gave him this idea. When I go, that's how I want to go. Real talk. I and mean, I want to, I want to be double wrapped. I want to get wrapped in the slightly clearer wax paper and then the white paper. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. then a sticker on the top. Boys okay. head. Mm -hmm. And then lower me down. Real talk. <laughs> Salt, black pepper, vinegar too. I got to last long. Okay. <laughs> Oh, God. If you have any articles you want us to cover, please DM us directly on Twitter and Instagram at Silky Jumbo or at Gastro Monte. Uh, shout out this week to Allende, Shannon Lemoyne, uh, Winnie Locke, and the Rare Element. With all that said, I am the tastiest dead host, Gastro Monte. That's right, baby. Well seasoned. You know what I mean? With the Bobby Aki behind the counter that came up with this I idea. I am not rolling your ass up in deli paper. <laughs> it's so late with How salt. about that? Uh, oh, pardon me. She's wrapping. She she is uh, more veggie friendly. She's putting me in a uh, like a lettuce wrap. You know, I can't, oh lord. I'm nah, just man. gonna let you talk. <laughs> 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 oh man, uh, this has been uh, a Salmonella. Sal I don't even know how to say the word. Episode of the War Report. Catch y'all next time. Peace. If you got any boys head. In Please general. throw it out. Just throw it out. Yeah, you know I mean, just wait it out. <laughs> just, I like real talk. Just don't buy it on the on like the corner. That's all. Like you know, get go to the. Well, corner no, store. I mean it was at grocery stores too. Publix had it. That might be the problem. Okay, that's they got other the... stuff on their mind. You go to a corner store. That's the only meat. You For... know what I mean? They focused on it. No, 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 no. I I'm you go to telling Publix, you they got other stuff that going on. Corner stores don't work that way in other places. Publix is where you get that kind of meat. The delis that you have on every corner that has that, you can only get at supermarkets and other places. So it's gotta, the only place that on you that. can get that. That's that's the issue. Lack of focus. <laughs> that's not like okay. Okay. All right. Please come to New York. We're not getting turn us off off. now. We're turn us dying. off now. <laughs> Spreading more. Positive we are we are of no use. <laughs> <laughs> Be easy to anyone who's dealing with listeria from belly meat, not to gas door, because he don't care. Turn us off now. We are done. <laughs> Send in my way, yo. Real talk. <laughs>